Come, try this. Good boy. I want to look out the window. You are reading a book. Would you like appropriate lighting? Yes. There we go. Richard? Just a moment. Ugh, off to a great start. Ugh. You have placed a washing basket. Would you like to abort the washing cycle? Yes, please. Finally. I just had to... I'll let you in now. <coughs> Damn. Hey. Here I am. <laughs> Almost on time. Richard, come in. So, yes. There you are. Good to see you. You too. <laughs> I imagined our greeting to be a little more euphoric. You know, with kisses and hugs and all that. What? Yeah. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Me too. <laughs> hmm. Wow, we're just getting started. Please, don't. What's your trip? Okay. You have pretty intense neighbors. <laughs> oh? Who did you meet? Hopefully not Dyke. Unshaven guy with a hoodie in his mid-fifties? Uh, yeah. That's Dyke. Be careful around him. He sells information. You know, to cops, trashy mags, anyone willing to pay. Oh, great. He recognized me. He also knew I was coming here. Are you worried because of Tracy? That she'll find out where you are? No, no. Feeling guilty? Do you want to leave again? <sighs> if you're worried, then go. I, I don't want to spend an evening with a guy that isn't even really here. <sighs> Nonsense. Of course I want to be here. Fine. Just one more thing. You have to call home, right? I have to. My kid. I would have done it out on the street, but that dyke... It's okay. I understand. I'd also want you to call me. Should I do it outside? You can stay here. I'll go to the bathroom. It's me. Uh, listen, I'm in a bit of a hurry, just calling to say that I arrived well. Yeah, that's all okay. It's a nice hotel. 
No, no, I'm staying in. Guess I'll be sleeping soon. I'm pretty wiped. Is James doing fine? Give him a kiss for me. Oh, you hypocrite. I gotta run. Yes, yes, of course. I love you too. Yeah. Were you listening? At the volume you were talking at? I told you I would have gone outside. You wanted to speak with your son. I did. So what? Tracy is his mother. I love you too. Great. I know. I'm sorry. I need another drink. What did you expect me to say when I'm talking to my family as... As what? A cheater? As a father! <laughs> well... This got off to a great start. Come on, let's open a bottle. I... want to apologize. For what? I would have reacted the same way. It's me who's the... well, you know. The jerk. Exactly. You're not. It's impossible to change your life without hurting somebody. It's always hard. I don't want to hurt my kid, you know? I know. Actually, I'm just jealous. I wish I had a kid. Hmm. You? Do you want more kids? I don't know. Maybe it would have been better if Tracy and I had had no kids. sounds. James's birth, everything that happened around that time, was so horrible. The accident, Tracy's scar, and I don't know, I never really connected with James. Sometimes I think he's not even really my son, as if she just inserted him into my life. Excuse me? That really does sound awful. Does James know? God, no. But maybe he senses it. What the hell was that? Hello, Betty. Come with me, little robot. John! Oh, damn. Scan complete. Object ID recognized. Object sent successfully. Again. How old is your son? Seven. Why? When's his birthday? February 14th? Did you get that from the cloud? February 14th is my son's birthday, Adam. <laughs> well, that doesn't prove much, does it? Tell me, Richard. You contacted Lydia for your work, am I right? Yeah, exactly. Why? Just a thought. She talked about you. Okay. What did she say? That you were a famous journalist and whatnot. Oh, well, famous. But yeah, that's why she contacted me. How exactly does that relate to my son? Sorry, I was just curious. These simulations are intense. should go see Walter before he calls it a day.
Mr. Nolan, is now a good time? Troy Davis, I've been supporting the team over the past week. I heard. Congratulations. I am a big fan of your column. Really? Well, thanks. Are you feeling better now? Pardon? Oh, your colleague said that you had an accident. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. How long have you been working as a journalist? Oh, well, not that. Uh, uh, this is my first job. I'm so glad that Frank offered it to me. I promise you that your work is safe in my hands. I'm sure it will be. Well then, I have to get to work. In case we don't see each other again. Oh no. you for a second? No. Hi, Richard. What are you doing now? Researching. Uh, what about? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Try me. Come on, Richard, stop it. We haven't worked together in an age. Do you know the last time you were in this office? It's been a while, I know. Four years. That long already? <laughs> At some point, I just couldn't muster the courage to walk in here. I thought you were angry at me. You did? Yes. Because... Because I left you hanging. Oh, stop talking crap, Richard. Frank put me out the pasture, and you... You had more important things to do. That's not true, and you know it. Whatever. Why are you here? Small talk? If you like. How's Tracy? Uh, what's the kid up to? How's your career? Walter, please. What? Are we doing small talk or not? Tracy and James have disappeared. I'm looking for them. Hmm. I thought so. What do you mean, you thought so? <laughs> Forget it. You know I'm a bit mad. Everybody does. I need your help, Walter. <laughs> Go ask Frank. He'll help you, I'm sure. He fired me. Really? Well, Richard, that's how it is. Everybody's time comes. Walter, listen. You've done research on Kurt's labs in the past, haven't you? <laughs> I have. Do you still have the files? Well, you're too late. There are things in motion that can't be stopped anymore. I don't get it. What, what things? <laughs> you know, Richard, I've been doing a lot of thinking these past years. I used to think life was about finding the truth or getting justice or whatever. It's not? No, it's about life. Life and living. You just... Gotta be on the correct side. Uh-huh. And what is the correct side? We're all mortal. Sooner or later, we all die. And then what? A gravestone, a bunch of paperwork, some data. Okay, and? There are always two sides to every story, here and beyond. Life and death. One and zero. A binary system, you understand? 
Actually, not at all. <laughs> you will. You're just taking your first steps. Frank's right. You're actually insane. And when you look into the mirror, Richard, what do you see? Walter, listen. What do you think you see yourself? No. What you see is matter. Nothing more. It's not you. It's completely replaceable. You gotta get out more, Walter. Interact with some people. Well, you could be right. And you know what? I will get out of here. That's good. Very good. Do you still have that house by the lake? I'd like to come visit you someday. The house? Yeah, but, uh... I don't need it anymore. Why not? Where are you going? You, you're not planning anything stupid, Walter. Don't worry about me. Walter, about Tracy and James. I'm worried. Really worried. They'll be fine. They'll take care of themselves. And you will too. Listen, it's my family we're talking about. Oh, why? You didn't seem to care about them before. Family, friends. I mean, you never had any time for anybody. Look, I'm sure Tracy knows what she's doing. How can you say such a thing? I understand that you're disappointed, but... You're portraying me as some sort of monster. These files... Can you even make sense of that mess? They're not important anymore. Okay, but what is all this? It just doesn't look... healthy. Anatomical studies, neural networks, chemical formulas, architectural models. What the hell is going on, Walter? Are you writing some crazy diary or what? Maybe. But why? What's the meaning of it? I told you, it's not important anymore. You can have it. The whole thing. I don't need it anymore. Well, then... back tomorrow, okay? Sure. Of course. No, really. I'm coming. 